Hello and welcome to the Cleaning and Contamination Defect Guide. My name's Bob Willis. These video clips are designed to feature as part of the printed Cleaning and Contamination Defect Guide that you can download from the website. The first cleaning process problem I'd like to discuss is component damage. Now there are a number of ways in which can components can be damaged during the cleaning process. Typical things are the removal of coatings, um, the removal of markings on the surface, and of course with electromechanical devices, physically the operation of the device. However, the most common process issue discussed, although perhaps not experienced these days, is the effect of ultrasonics on components during the cleaning process. I have to say, when I started as an engineer many, many, many years ago, a lot of people used to discuss this problem. However, I have never personally experienced a problem. In fact, in the early days as a young engineer, I did a number of experiments where I took a printed circuit board which was specifically designed with the number of components featured on it. And we basically subjected this to cleaning using ultrasonics energy in a standard cleaning tank. We actually removed the top of the components, so thus exposing the individual wire bonds to that energy produced during cavitation. And again, we never saw any failures. My good friends at GEC Research, a number of years ago, did a very exhaustive study which looked at a whole myriad of components, both on printed circuit boards and also soldered on substrates, including both conventional and surface mount. Again, the only time they saw failures of devices or wire bonds was when the components were cleaned for many hours at standard operating conditions or the components were exposed to extremely high ultrasonic energy so many many watts per litre. So I'm firmly of the belief that ultrasonic cleaning of components on printed circuit boards, under standard conditions, really is not an issue today.